Thinking about career growth? Join Asian Center of Entrepreneurships and Real Estate today. To learn more about decision making, essentials of business, improve marketing performance, develop crucial communication skills, and more. Join ASRE today and get a chance to be mentored by the best professionals in the country. Unlock the entrepreneurship inside you. Learn from the experts. Contact us at 0969 557 Let's all welcome our host, Dr. Eduardo G. Ong, MBA, JD, PhD, DPA, DBA. He is a highly respected real estate professional, educator, and mentor. He holds a PRC license number 001 for real estate broker, appraiser, and consultant. He is the first chairman of Professional Regulatory Board of Real Estate Service. Currently, he is the Dean of College of Real Estate Management of Lyceum of Alabang. Please welcome PRC Outstanding Professional, Dr. G.
start na naman? Ha? Huh? Okay, I'm so sorry. I think I'm muted. <laughs> Again, let me you, you don't hear me? Okay, hindi na, hindi. Di uulit ko na naman. <laughs> okay, so I want to say nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> I want to say hello, good morning real estate. Good morning world, good morning universe. Yan. Today is the 125th episode uh, season 10 of Doc EG Live. As I have been telling while I was muted by uh, by my IT yet, then I we talk about uh, buyers and uh, sellers from abroad who bought properties, who sold properties here in the Philippines and uh, worried about what's going to happen to their investment in the Philippines. And the problem is the maintenance and upkeep of their condos, of their projects, of their houses in the Philippines. Now, who takes care of them? Who takes care of the up upkeep and maintenance of that uh, uh, upkeep of their maintenance and of their residences and their condominium? It is now, it now lies on the hands of the property managers. No, the property managers have the role responsibility of taking good care of your abode, taking good care of your edifices, your condominiums, and the like. And I have invited none other than a very prominent personality, a luminary in the, in the property management game to uh, discuss with us the relevance of property uh, management in the real estate industry. And today, I'm so excited, excited, just like you, to listen to his expatiation, to his, his uh, presentation on how we can look at property managers and how important property managers in uh, the role they play in the real estate industry. But even before that, allow me to greet the uh, Southeast Asia Research Group of the University of the Philippines, um, Sharka, the, uh, let me see, you know, Mylene, they are now tuning in. Mylene Baloloy, uh, Rona, Rona Banay, then, uh, then Albrin Escobin, and then Bernice Mansano, hello, and Michael, Michael Mansano, likewise, and Bernice Almasan, sorry, Bernice Almasan, and also Miss Yellow Bell, who is uh, with us right now. They're all watching us. Hello, po, sa inyo lahat. Uh, let me also uh, thank our good friend from Taiwan who is always there to support us in, in all of our activities and whom I have requested to, uh, to lecture and to teach us basic Mandarin, which is slated by the end of August. So you are invited to please attend. And if you want to learn conversational Mandarin, then you are invited to attend this uh, webinar. Okay. So... Also, I'd like to thank the very nice couple from uh, Isabella and the, the, the officers of, Isa, of Rebap Isabella, si, uh, Edwin Binag Kalamba and also Ruby Bayani Kalamba, who are, uh, should I say, well-known personality in the real estate world in Isabella and the environs. And also would like to say hello to the almost 100 participants the, who attended the webinar that I conducted on, on uh, today from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And I discussed and elaborated on the issues of the RESA law, the Real Estate Service Act of the Philippines, and also the component, the Code of Ethics. I hope you have learned a lot from my lecture. Kaya alam ko na you are here because many have subscribed and I know that you are here. I want to say hello to you 
to the participants of the Rebap Isabella uh, webinar for real estate sales person. At welcome to the show called I am. This is a, a, a program that uh, tells you a lot about real estate and also entrepreneurship and and business in general. Also, let me say hello to uh, a good friend, uh, the president of uh, a, the Philippine Federation of Real Estate Service Professionals, si Attorney Michael Ross Limosnero. Uh, you know, he is a uh, top notcher in the real estate examinations. And also, my dear friend, my mentor, my idol, si uh, Mr. Florentino S. Dolalia Jr., uh, a legend, I should say, who is uh, well well known in the industry, not only in the Philippines, but also abroad, because he was former, I think, immediate past president, world president of the Federation of Real Estate Professionals in the world, you know, world president. Yan. And... Uh, he brought honor to the country by being the first president, Filipino president of PFC World. And I understand that PFC is going to hold its uh, uh, leadership training or leadership uh, seminar face to face in Kaohsiung, Taiwan on, uh, on well, December 6 to 9. And you are all invited to join us as we explore Kaohsiung or even perhaps including Taipei City. No? We'll go to Taiwan on December 6 to 9. Maybe you can extend because Taiwan now is open for tourists. And uh, you're all invited to join us. No? And also to Julie. Hi, Julie. Julie Morte Legaspi, the Executive Secretary of... Uh, of Prespi Philippines have done a good a good job in the in Prespi and PFC. And also, well, let me also say hello to um, one of my BFFs, no, the Secretary General of Prespi, Engineer Eleonor Liganor, and also a professor likewise, no professor of uh, real estate management no, at the Lyceum. So, Prop Liganor or Engineer Liganor, welcome to the show. And to my other BFFs, the uh, uh, Mel B, Lorenzala, Dorado, Sadang, hello there. I from the from Dumaguete City. And I know that we are being watched now here in Cebu and in the Visayas and even in Mindanao. Kaya po, I want to say hello also to my good friend, uh, Anthony Gerald Lioterio. Anthony Lioterio and the wife and the daughter enrolled at the Lyceum of Alabang College of Real Estate Management, including my neighbor and my very good friend who just celebrated his birthday, Andy Manyala. Ay, nako, Andy, you are not. Kasi who just bought a, ano yan? Ay, a very, a very, ano ba tawag dan? Hindi, yung, 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 uh, yung bago niyang motorcycle, no? Sabi nga niya daw, nakita ko sa Facebook, sabi niya, sabi ng iba, nag-midlife crisis na ako. Hindi po, you are just following your craving. Siguro, eh, you, you really would like to have that kind of, that kind of animal, <laughs> that kind of vehicle. Kaya, ay, Andy, congratulations on your, on your new acquisition. Of a Harley, Harley pala, Harley motorcycle. Ako mahal yun, ha? Of Harley motorcycle. Uh, long live Andy Banyala. Yes, and also to my good friend, well, si uh, Joscoro Lim, June Garing Jr., congratulations for a very successful Euphoria 2022. Uh, well, held in Cebu, in the city center in Cebu, sometime, some two weeks ago. And I was there, I was one of the speakers, and I I could say that it was a very successful affair, no? I also see Pastor Gary, hello there. And uh, all of my new friends from there, like also June Golchano, 
also from Cebu. Hello there. And also, hindi ko makalimutan si uh, a lot of friends uh, who, who Joe Justin, uh, well, uh, Salazar, and uh, and also, well, you know, si uh, Bong Labrador, the, uh, the, the one, I think one of the members of the board of directors, and also a stalwart, a chairman of the Philippine Association of, uh, well, realty consultants, realty consultants and specialists, no? Ano tawag dan? Parks, kaya po, and also attorney at, uh, well, uh, let me, Ray, I told me Ray, you know, si President Ray Cartohano, who is now, I saw in Facebook, in Cebu, together with the other past national presidents like Ray Lim and also William Floresta, and I also saw Melinda Litt, my very good friend from Los Baños, Melinda Litt uh, from Calamba, Laguna, Real Estate Board, attending now the convention, the national convention and election of the officers for 2023, the uh, Philippine Association of Real Estate Board. Good luck to the uh, convention and have a safe travel back to Manila. Okay, now, also hello to uh, a good, very good friend who have been helping us a lot in our technical, in our, in our IT, and that is direct from Taiwan. Haha, <laughs> we see Miss Ellen Lee, who has always been supportive, especially to the Secretariat of uh, HRE, and uh, always been very helpful in all of the activities of HRE. No? Si Ellen. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Ellen. Okay. Also to Marcia Luz Francisco, to uh, Berlin uh, GB Biliasis, to Marlon Lynn de la Cruz, and Jennifer, I, I think I remember, Jennifer Lalik, and John Joshua Rodriguez. And hello also to Teresita, Tessie Mone, Moneha, Monesa. Are you in Sambuanga uh, City? And Olinad, Ogladi, Ogladi, ba okay yun na? And Arnie Villar, oh well, Arnie, hi Arnie, Arnie Villarta, very, Dr. Arnie Villarta. Are you still in Cebu, Arnie? Uh, well, I was in Cebu, I should have visited you. Well, Dr. Arnie Villarta was uh, my, my former colleague, the chairperson of the board of optometry. And Arnie, Alam mo, I cannot forget my dear Arnie. Yeah. And also, wow, si, sinabi ko na nga ba, uh, Top Nature, Mel B, Lorenz Sala, Dorado, Sada. Ang dami na nanonood sa atin ngayon, natutuwa ko. And Real Estate Life. Ano to? Uh, Real Estate Life o UP. Uh, ne Nadran Realty, uh, really? And Josefina Resurrection, Jose Paredes. Wow, Professor Kate Dalaga, my partner in fourth year, Catherine Kate Dalaga Garcia. Ayan, ano, ano, di siya sa atin ngayon. Alam mo naman, basta magagandang dalaga, ay dalaga, dalaga rin nandito na po, ano, 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 sa atin. Ay, Kate, sana one of these times, you can be one of my resource person to talk about not only beauty, talk about wellness, talk about uh, real estate marketing, talk about uh, brokerage, and talk about everything that we know is uh, beneficial to the practitioner. Okay, S. Antonio Sinel, hello to Joy Gochanko, and nakupo, the, one of the beautiful ladies I admire both who hails from the uh, Las Piñas Real Estate Board, si Cielo Azilo Laxamana. I, uh, I, a very good friend of mine, very close friend of mine, si Cielo Laxamana, and Alexis Garcia, and TJ Restauro, and Jocelyn Manalili, parati yan sa atin, no? and Susan Manalo Reluau, and oh, wow, hello Tess. I think Tess Gapatin, you is from Manila Board, Ata, and Ian Higa, and Rosalinda Tabios, my colleague, my good friend from Paranaque, from BF Home Paranaque, si Rosalinda Lin Tabios. So I invite all of you huh, to join us in Taiwan, in Kaohsiung, 
we'll have on December 6th up to 9 so we can explore Kaohsiung, Taipei City, open na po yan. And ako, oh, ito pala, dito rin pala sa atin ngayon, yung aking kompanyero, si Attorney Luis G. Gonzalez from Bataan. Kaklasik ko po ito sa College of Law, si Attorney Louis Gonzalez. Sino pa ba? Well, ay, naku po, binati na kita. BFF nong Liganor talaga naman you know nong is somebody i admire most because nong uh, means business talaga naman siya very upright and i know that nong a very friendly lady and nong can really go fly places soon watch for nong <laughs> and Dr. Cindy Petalbero uh, Soliman my you know natutuwa ako dito kay Cindy eh. Kasi some time ago, I think about eight years ago, Cindy was my student in the graduate school on a DBA program in the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. But look at Cindy, where Cindy is right now. Cindy is now the associate dean of the graduate school of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. No, kita mo naman ang kanyang job and I'm so happy for you, Dr. Cindy Suleiman and uh, Aileen Romero and Leigh B.L. Okay, marami pa pero mamaya na natin babatiin yung iba ha. At uh, let me just also greet Gabby Gomez, si Bad Body, si Bonnie Aguirre, my good friend, my best friend from from Santa Maria, Bulacan. Alam mo, si Bonnie and I talk a lot, especially in the evening. So we watch news together. <laughs> we watch news together. He is in Santa Maria, Bulacan. I am in Manila. I am in Paranaque. <laughs> but we all were all watching on the same channel. At nagko-comment, comment kami. Kasi she's also my age. And uh, bata pa naman kami. <laughs> And therefore, we would like, talaga naman, ganun pala, pag nagkaka-age ka, medyo, you have to want to go back to the roots, no? And uh, you want to pick up old friends and then uh, then enjoy life. Anyway, uh, life is very short. And uh, the more it is, is how you are going to be relevant to the world. How, what is your contribution to the world? And what legacy can you leave to the world? Yan po ang dapat natin gawin. That's why we have this advocacy together with my with my esteemed resource person. Uh, we have this what you call legacy uh, on real estate. Na po? Okay now. So uh, before we go further, before I am carried away with so many, you know, I'm overwhelmed with so many uh, calls, so many attendance, so many participation. But palagay ko po, eh, mami ako na bati, eh, kasi mauubos ang oras natin, no? And uh, let me now go to the first segment of our episode one to one, no? And that is the featured question of the week. Featured question of the week. I'm a licensed real estate salesperson. I was offered to sell a property located in Zambales, a beach resort, consisting of 6 hectares, but only 2 hectares are titled. The other 4 hectares are not titled. Some are tax declarations and reclaimed areas, but no documents. My proposed buyer is seriously looking at the beach resort. However, when I conducted due diligence, I found out the real situation of the property. What shall I do, Doc E.G.? Thank you for your advice. Yeah, I think uh, I think I know the property, and uh, the property is now being offered for sale with about trillions no, of, of, of pesos, but it's composed of about six hectares of property somewhere there in Tambales. However, as you said, two hectares are title, and the other are tax declaration, and some are cloa. However, in the, in the selling of that property, it cannot be sold on a lock stock and barrel, for example, uh, eight to 10,000 pesos per square meter. Why? 
siguro perhaps for those title property, it could command that price. I do not know the price in in Zambales, but it could probably uh, command that price. But however, if the property is tax declaration or the property is under CLOA, then I think uh, it will have it will command a different price. So you said that you have a very interested interested buyer who would want to look into the property seriously. What I can advise to you, my dear friend, I think I know you, but I will not mention your name, <laughs> is to conduct really due diligence. Tignan natin mabuti yung mga titulo. Let us see what kind. Uh, what you do is you when you conduct a due diligence, isa-isahin natin. Yung six sectors, isa-isahin natin. Sino ba ang may titulo? Sino ba ang walang titulo? Sino ba yung tax tech? Sino ba yung CLOA? And then, and you are able to prepare a good report. I would suggest that you have it appraised and good report on what it can do and also perhaps, sabi mo, beach resort. Eh. So most probably, it is encroaching into the sea, right? And so therefore, look at that. Because sometimes there is now a ruling that you cannot, uh, but there is a pri public property in a certain uh, certain square meters uh, above or, or on the before the seashore. So tindam po natin lahat yan. And I would suggest that you, uh, well, I think we have written you a uh, legal opinion on that matter. And I suggest that you connect to us so we can mostly, more or less, uh, give you a very good complete uh, erudition, complete uh, description of the property, and also complete recommendation on what you should do. Sayang! Meron ka na palang buyer. Sayang! Pero siguro magbabago ang price nun. Baka bumaba ng konti yung mga tax debt at bumaba ng konti yung mga CLOA. Pero yung mga 2 hectares na sinasabi mo na merong title, o baka naman. And what about the proximity to the road, to the main road, to the national road, to the barrio road, or to the municipal road? Hindi po natin alam yun. Now, what is really important is for us to conduct due diligence. Uh, pwede po kayong tulungan ng aming staff so that you can conduct a veritable, should I say, inspection, investigation, and evaluation of the property being sold before you offer this to your prospective buyer. I, I, I assume that your prospective buyers are foreigners, di ba? But again, foreigners cannot own land, but unless, except, or unless it is a corporation, or uh, Filipino Corporation 6040 ownership. However, I uh, would say sayang naman, di ba? Kung hindi mo matutuloy itong property. As, as you have said, talaga din naman na interesadong interesado. And let us help you. We will try to help you analyze the transaction. So with that, uh, we have written you, we have emailed you our our dissertation, our observation on the on the property itself. And should you should you have any other query, then uh, please let us know. So we will help you. We'll help you on the legal point of view, on the appraisal point of view, and on the marketing marketing point of view. Ayan, ha? Kaya stand by ka lang. Huwag mo nang gagalaw. Tingnan muna natin kung anong description ng property, kung ano talaga. At huwag na tayo mapahiya kung foreigner yan. Mahirap mapahiya. At kailangan, we have to, the keyword is due diligence. Kailangan mag-conduct tayo ng due diligence para naman makita natin yan. At one time, siguro, we can schedule a trip, a quick trip. Pwede ba balikan yun? A quick trip to Sambales so we can check on that. And I think Attorney Louis Gonzalez can help us. No, Louis, para pwedeng pag-usapan natin to, uh, so so that we can really, you know, nandun naman talaga eh. uh, We have to network with one another. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat for your query and thank you for trusting Doc EG Live that can give you a sound advice on what to do in case of in, in, as regard to this transaction. Malaki po itong transaction na to na gagawin nyo. Kaya kailangan po ay pag-aralang mabuti. So, good luck to you. 
and uh, God bless. Okay, thank you. Now we move on to the featured broker of the week. My name is Rodel Revilla and my broker's PRC license number is 28609. I've been in the real estate service practice for 7 years already. me busy nowadays. I'm busy building and growing myself. We are always a work in progress. Since we are in the practice of profession, it is very important to widen our knowledge and capability so that we can serve our clients better. I am also busy building my team as a licensed broker supervising PRC accredited salespersons. We have the responsibility to make sure that the people under us are growing too not just financially, but also professionally. My team offers one-stop shop real estate services, which includes brokerage, project selling, appraisal, property management, consultancy, documentation, and even we do buy, fix, sell, or buy, fix, rent, and sell. is my specialization. I specialize training and development of my team, not just in the classroom but also in the field. I train them how to do the project selling, brokerage, property management, documentation, and appraisal. Then it's up to them what they will focus. This year, more than 50% of our revenue comes from the brokerage, followed by project selling and appraisal. We are starting to develop our property management team. What qualities brought me to be successful in real estate? I think the quality of being able to influence and train people. In the practice of real estate profession, Time is very valuable and we only have one body and 24 hours a day. If we cannot replicate ourselves, we are limited. But if we know how to influence and train people, we replicate and multiply ourselves and become unlimited. By doing so, we just don't only help ourselves. We serve others and help them grow and become less too. summarizes my formula for success. Just know how to train, serve, and influence others. If you can lead others, you can grow not just yourself, but others too. What can I advise to new real estate practitioners? Don't just learn how to sell, learn also how to train, lead, and how to influence people. Mission first before commission. If you know how to lead, train, and influence people, you can help them grow professionally and financially. When you lead, lead the right way. Inspire people to achieve their dreams and follow the law. wisdom or motto fast is better than perfect 
Do not wait for a perfect timing, perfect team, perfect knowledge, or perfect product. It is you who will make it perfect. If you keep on waiting, you will lose your most valuable asset, which is time. It is always trial and error. Fail forward. As you move a step forward, your direction will become clearer along the way. And then, if you keep going, one day, you will get there. So act now, do it now, just do it. How I want to be remembered in real estate? I want to be remembered in real estate as someone who started with nothing and then become great. That is our company's tagline, which is from nothing to greatness. Seven years ago, we started with nothing, with zero capital, and eventually, we built a team. Hopefully, we will eventually become great, and not just great, but also will last even after our lifetime. Okay, so thank you, Rodel Revilla, no, for that very, for that wisdom, for that very good uh, advice to our constituency, no, in the real estate uh, profession. I'm sure that many will learn a lot from your uh, experience, and hopefully, uh, they can emulate or imitate you as a very, should I say, successful real estate professionals. Okay, so. Well, natatuwa naman ako kasi nandito pala yung isa sa mga hinahangaan ko sa University of Santo Tomas Graduate School of Business. Si Dr. Caroline Castaño. Hi, Doc. Hi, Carol. My very good friend, Carol Castaño, used to be the dean and then the program chair ng College of Business Administration, the UST, and a very consummate and well-known and a very erudite uh, intelligent professor at the UST grad school. At ako, hindi doon po, at uh, kumusta din po ako sa aming program, program uh, ay nako, si co-program lead, si Dr. Beth Recio. Yan po. At si uh, Rona May Vicencio. Hello. Anida Maniri. Mike Madrid. Arnold Ambata Jr. Wow. And Rexy Libao Bernal. Yan po yung mga uh, mainstay natin. And also, well, to my students from the UST Grad School, si uh, Katia Pauline Villa Biray. And also, hello to uh, uh, EJ Dizon and Red Pohas Magbag and Edna Del Valle Tumala. Special mention to uh, Rosalie. Ay, naku, Rosalie. Esor Twin ginagamit mo. Rosalie is one of my uh, what say uh, very studious <laughs> uh, students from the Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Hello, Rosalie. Thank you. Saan ka bang international? Ano global business natin subject natin dito? No? Okay. So now, we move on. Yung iba, saka na lang muna yung iba. No? That we move on to the uh, uh, info beach. Infobits, brought to you by Doc EG Live. Did you know that property management is the daily oversight of residential, commercial, or industrial real estate by a third-party contractor? Generally, property managers take responsibility for day-to-day -day repairs and ongoing maintenance, security, and upkeep of properties. They usually work for the owners of investment properties, such as apartments and condominium complexes, private home communities, shopping centers, and industrial parks. Okay, that is what we're going to tackle today. That's what we're going to explain today, and that is the relevance of property management in the real estate industry. And I have invited a, uh, a very good resource person to tackle that. Huh? The, our resource person who is a very, very close friend of mine and who is the president of one of my organizations, the Filipino Institute of Property Managers and Administrators, or PIRMA, 
is an AB Communication Arts major in Advertising and Public Relations graduate, minor in Speech Communications at the UPLB, University of the Philippines, Los Baños, and a real estate broker with uh, PRC license number 1172, a real estate appraiser, uh, PRC number 8722, and uh, professional property manager. Wow, sama kami nito, ha? Huh? And PPM number 001. Wow, and PRC accredited lecturer number 0052. And also a party member and uh, I think a president of Mandaluyong chapter, real estate board, and also an NAR, uh, National Association of Realtors member. But uh, C. Nestor is the president of the NETCOR Resource Management and Training Center and also the president of Filipino Institute of Real Property Managers and Administrators, no? PIRMA, and past president of the Mandaluyong City Real Estate Board, and likewise, the president of CORE, a CORE Nest Finders Realty Networks. And a past president, a past district deputy knights of Columbus, District C57, and a current state officer of the KOFC North Luzon jurisdiction. And also a licensed real estate broker, a licensed real estate appraiser, appraiser a PRC PRBRS accredited lecturer and professional property manager, no? And then uh, at the same time, I guess, the uh, Nestor, uh, President Nestor is a very well-known personality in the field of property management, not only in uh, property management, but also in the real estate the sector as a whole. And as a matter of fact, I got him as one of my professors in uh, real estate uh, management, in my BS real estate management course, wherein I am the current dean of uh, real estate as uh, a lyceum in Alabang. And so therefore, without further ado, Allow me to uh, present to you my colleague, my dear friends, si, uh, Professor Nestor Santos Correa. Hi, Nestor. Hi, oh, good morning, uh, Chairman. Uh, and of course, uh, good PM sa ating mga property managers. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you in Sambuanga or you are in Manila? No, I'm somewhere north. Hindi ako nakasama sa Sambuanga. But uh, just the Hindi same, I to, uh, yeah, I would like to wish them uh, ano, no, success. And, uh, uh, okay. Mabuti you know, naman. Good for me. I I, I should, I, 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 first of all, I wanted to attend sana, but I was not able because of the pressure of work. So, pareho lang pala tayo. So, I know that you just came from Cebu and yeah, you held a property management seminar, di ba? Yes, oo. Hindi tayo nag-abot pero very timely ah ang, uh, ang featured broker mo is uh, Mr. Rodel uh, Libilia no. Uh yes just been uh, this ano uh, earned his designation in uh, as a professional facilities manager no. Uh I awarded that designation. We awarded that designation I think. Uh, yes, yes. Years. And, and I would ano, like to uh, congratulate you ah. Our uh, Pirma family is increasing. Yes, and yes. growing and growing and growing, and I hope we can bring that to uh, uh, we can bring that overseas, or we can bring that in the whole archipelago, including yeah. Mindanao. Kasi alam ko na sa Luzon kane. Maybe we can tie up my uh, HRE, my Asian Center, and also your your Pirma and Netscore. By the way, I'm yes. still the chairman of Pirma, di ba? Yes, <laughs> 
Hindi ka pa namin pinapalita. And I think you'll be, you'll be occupying that for a long time. <laughs> okay. All right. And so I know that we will learn a lot from you as far as uh, the subject matter, which is the relevance of property um, well management in the real estate industry. Now, uh, Ness, Professor Ness, would you like to start up? Start already? Yeah, yeah presentation. Okay, uh, you have a presentation, no? Sige, uh, just a few slides, uh, Chairman. Is okay. yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, when you when you called me up last week regarding uh, the topic uh, that I think was most appropriate for your episode today, so you, uh, this question, this was the question is I know you asked me how relevant is property management to the real estate industry. So my answer to that, of course, is uh, yeah, siempre. No, it's very relevant. Uh, next slide, please. Mr. Rosa. Okay. Can we have the next slide? Medyo unstable yata yung aking uh, medyo unstable yata yung aking uh, uh, signal. No? So, i-opt ko muna yung video ko. Now, actually, uh, property management is very relevant. And in fact, I'm very thankful na uh, Chairman, no? for uh, giving me that uh, teaching assignment sa uh, Lysia Mubalapa because this will give firma and us property managers the chance uh, to invite no? real estate practitioners into um, what we call uh, the natural progression dapat na isang uh, real estate service practitioner. No? Uh, and I'm very happy uh, during the course of our uh, trainings no, or conduct of uh, uh, master classes, especially so uh, Cebu, no? we have produced a lot of uh, leasing managers and uh, uh, property administrators and lately uh, we have this uh, professional facilities managers. Now, property management answers the need for highly trained professionals who will look after the upkeep of buildings, but more importantly, care for its occupants. The occupant safety, security, satisfaction, and comfort. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. Now, something I read, no? uh, in fact, uh, during my class yesterday, we discussed uh, the history of uh, property management. And it was uh, from that we learned no, that uh, the greatest development no, that contributed to the birth or of the formal professional property management was the Great Depression of uh, 1929, okay? And which was preceded by the pandemic of uh, the Spanish flu, no? starting in uh, 1919, no? 19, ended in 1918 and ended in 1920. So it has parallels to what uh, we are experiencing today. No? Now, during that uh, uh, phase no, of a, a world uh, economic development, during that Great Depression, property management was key no, to the preservation of buildings and their value until such time that the world economy recovered. Okay, next slide, please. So over the years, property management has evolved from being mere overseers, no, uh, Paano man ba sa Tagalog ng overseers? Uh, Tagapamaha, ano? Uh, di Tagapamahala. Eh, no? Tagabantay. Okay? Okay? And then to caretakers. Okay? Tagaalaga. To preservers. Taga... Ano ba yung preserve? Tagapampahaba ng buhay. Okay? Then to uh, maintain, to become maintenance specialist. No? Then we uh, slowly we learn no, uh, the necessi necessity no, of uh, knowing the basics in everything that is in the building, including the equipment, the maintenance, no, the preventive maintenance, the custodial maintenance. No. And after that, sa tagal tagal namin na nandu sa property, we learn how to analyze this property. So we graduate from mere maintenance specialist to property analyst. Okay. 
And while analyzing these properties, we also learn no, the tools that would make us become good financial managers of the business. Because property management is a business. A business that well, uh, takes care of the owner's investment. And from there, we are now occupying this role no, of being wealth managers. No? So, hindi na lang yung ating, mga, yung ating mga professional property managers, portfolio managers, and asset managers are considered now as wealth managers. Next slide, please. Ms. Rosa? Ms. Rosa, can you go to the next slide, please? Okay. So today, asan ba tayo ngayon? No? So there again, we see parallels ka sa Great Depression. No? So there is a looming recession. There is high inflation rates. Ang inflation rate natin now is 6.9. And magpapasko, we expect probably that will hit. There's high inflation rates. The inflation rate natin now is 6.9. Nestor, naka-open camera mo, Nestor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nestor, naka-open camera mo. Okay. Yeah, you know, Chairman, dahil ano, uh, nag, uh, ano, nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, unstable siya. So, let's try, ano? Okay. okay, ayan, okay, good. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so, ingat, today, no, uh, there's a looming recession. In fact, sa US, may recession na. No? We are experiencing high inflation rates. High gas prices. No? Now, OPEC announced uh, two days ago that they are going to cut production by uh, two million barrels. So expect uh, uh, gasoline prices to go up again. Okay. And then, ang masama nito, our income, no, this is stagnant. No, walang walang increases sa salary across the board. No? And there are no other uh, 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 expected uh, income streams not from ordinary citizens that will afford them uh, the, you know, that give them the uh, affordability you know, that they need to buy uh, their first home. So, and of course, isa pang nakakapigil sa industry is the high interest rates. You know, high bank interest rates. Last year, or before the pandemic, we could buy, uh, we could purchase houses and loan no, from the bank at a low interest rate, no, as low as 5.75%. But as of now, it's now at 9 and 10%. So again, that is uh, uh, stunting the growth of the real estate industry. Okay, And because of these developments, the real estate industry will be in for even more rough times ahead. So, and the last item was I'm concerned. Paano na tayo? No? Even, uh, I think... Uh, one of the past pilot presidents called, you know, uh, so what's the prospect for the industry in the coming years? Well, sabi ko, from uh, the viewpoint of a property manager, santab ka muna yung aking pagiging broker. From the viewpoint of a property manager, okay, we must view it with clarity and transparency and honesty. So we don't... Um, Loss over no, the picture. Kung ano siya, yun ang, yun ang, yun ang, yun ang tinatanggap namin yung truth. And uh, in so doing, we find ways, no? we find solutions. Kasi yun naman ang trabaho ng property manager. To provide solutions for the issues that comes out of the operations of the building. Okay. So, Ms. Rosa, next slide please. Yeah, can we have the next slide, please? Ah, pwede ko palang kontrolin, no? Okay. So, but firma certified property managers have learned lessons from history. Okay. That's why, yun na nga, no? sa klase ko kahapon na chairman, yun ang inuna ko, no? the history of property managers. And it was, I don't know, if we look back, no? uh, doon nagtatribe ang property managers whenever there are crises and issues. No? Okay? Because from that experience, they have sharpened their skills no? So to face these challenges head on. So yun ang maganda rito. We have a history to look back to and we can refer back uh, to that history to uh, find solutions no? from current problems. So for, for, for example, 
Alam mo ba, Chairman, ang paramihan ng estudyante na umatend do sa Cebu were from banks, no? Banko. So, bakit kaya? No? Because according to them, uh, there are now uh, preservation orders from the court. Okay? So, that's a new uh, uh, evolving role no? for uh, property managers. Okay? Next slide, please. Now, with every crisis comes new opportunities and property managers are gladly welcoming it. Okay? So expect you no, because of this recession, this business slowdowns, no, lockdowns because of COVID-19, businesses unable to sustain their operations because of poor demand, okay? foreclosures and bankruptcies will occur. Okay? But with these foreclosures and bankruptcies have opened new roles for property managers. So sabi nga nila, we are experts in uh, preservation, no? property preservation. Okay. And then uh, here, there are new roles available to us. No? Meron tinatawag na conservatorships. Okay. Ano yung conservatorships? Uh, if the court will give a conservation order, di ba, oh, meron na bankrupt na company and he has a building, okay? he can assign property managers to come to become conservators or if another another uh, uh, role new role no is that of being a receiver okay, or receivership okay? or executors of preservation orders no, by the court no? and they are just a few no? now lately no nanapansin niyo ba nagkakaroon ng mga REITs no now, property managers has a huge role no, in uh, REITs. And that this is because REITs are independent okay, experts when it comes to the financial operations of buildings. Okay. Okay. Um, now, during bad times, PMs, property managers, once again, have, um, this moment, okay, have the chance okay, to show their prowess in repurposing properties. Sir, and daming inventory ng condominiums, daming buildings under construction, na nahinto, well, we have, no, we have to look at this and have them repurpose. No? For example, I said ko very extreme ito. No, said ko, alam mo isang nagpo-post ng traffic sa Metro Manila is yung mga ano double park na kotse no? sa bawat kalsada. Okay, imbis na magin four lanes na yung two lanes o minsan one and a half lane. No? Okay, and this contributes to the traffic. Now, if we could convert, no. Ito mga unfinished buildings pa, yung mga hindi pa na, hindi pa na lalagyan ng mga divide, divisions. No? Okay? If we can convert them into parking lots no? or parking buildings, then malaki kikitain niya. No? Because uh, the NMDA has been cracking down on illegal parking. No? So, mas mahal ang pagbayaran mo kung mahuhuli ka ng NMDA or ma- matuto yung sasakyan mo. So, it's much better to rent no uh car parks no? or uh, parking slots at 2500 or 3000 a month then to get the you know be uh, caught every day or every, every, uh, once a week no by the mmda abutin ka ng 10000 okay so that is a sample of repurposing okay um then also no? property managers must continue to seek other revenue streams. Bagsak ang rent ngayon. I was surprised. No? Uh, usually, ang uh, rental ng uh, rental rates sa office buildings sa Makati and sa MOA area is about 1,500, 1,700 uh, per square meter per month. But I was surprised to learn that uh, 600 to 750 lang ngayon no? ang ongoing rate sa office buildings. Again, that is because of oversupply. But we must realize, no? uh, I know, marami nakikinig na brokers, marami nakikinig na 
salespersons. Do not be disheartened. Because for, for the economy to recover and for real estate to recover, it must find its own level. No? Let the market forces play, I don't know, play on. I don't know, play on no? uh, ah, not even level yet. But in the rents or the selling prices will be acceptable no? to uh, new buyers or incoming buyers. Okay. So another way, no? because it, it either you maximize profit or you cut cost. Okay. So one way of cutting cost no? is the use or application of new technology. No? Because this delivers savings, substantial savings, no? and contributes to operational cost efficiency. So yun kagandahan yan, no? With the new technology, you know, simula tayo sa incandescent, tapos fluorescent, tapos EFL, ngayon nasa LED tayo. LED only consumes uh, about 5% of what the incandescent bulb used to, uh, to uh, uh, spend no, as uh, energy. No? Okay? So, ano yan? Uh, parating na parating yung new technology. No? And, uh, that's one thing that's very, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, peculiar to uh, property management. No? It, it always introduces new technology on a monthly basis. No? Kaya nga, uh, kung CPD or CPE lang, ang dami natin matututunan sa mga bago products that are being introduced. No? Not, not, just, not just products, but also yung, yung mga property management apps. No? They are uh, Before, they are very expensive, but now they are very affordable. No? And it adds convenience to our tenants and it adds that, that uh, it gives an added attraction no, for them to uh, remain as tenants, no? either to a retail or to the residential properties. Okay, so the key here is property managers are able to adapt. Okay? They should always be ready to adapt to local and international external factors, such as the changing urban and economic. Okay. When there's a pandemic, there's a ano, no? uh, change of uh, locational preference of people, realizing that they can work from home or work from anywhere, work from the beach, work from the mountains, no? work from the resorts, okay? or even work uh, from the streets. Okay. So, we don't want and we always adapt to those trends. Now, as we go on, no? property managers should look to new technologies to find additional revenue sources. So, a good example here is kung humihina ang rental no, ng iyong building because of uh, probably high vacancies, you can always uh, rent out your rooftop space for telecommunication equipment. No? Open it to uh, cell sites, no? uh, to this uh, uh, telecom uh, providers okay um this has created new and profitable revenues another is to use you know, your buildings as advertising billboards okay? which also generates substantial uh, miscellaneous income for our owners so we only need to be creative and resourceful okay and to stay ahead of the game in 2022 property managers must continue to look beyond rent as the sole revenue source. Okay? Tapos na yung panahon na yun. No? Because tinamaan uh, tayo ng pandemia, tapos uh, the world economy is reeling from this uh, recession, inflation, gas, high gas prices. So, ano, uh, ano, we should uh, give concessions para lang mabawasan ang vacancies. But what is key is identifying new ways to add value to properties. Also, uh, in gain, this is key in gaining and retaining tenants and keeping the owner's cash flow positive. Okay. So, yeah, no? uh, kung tatanungin natin, is it relevant? Yes. No? And it will always be relevant until probably the end of the life of your building. So, because yun naman ang trabaho namin, no? to extend the life of the property. Okay? 
dahil nag-invest ka yan, you invested millions, okay, it must generate income. Okay, it must generate income for the owners. Otherwise, it is not an investment. It becomes, sabi ko nga sa mga lectures ko, it becomes a liability. Okay? So, without property management, a purchase of a property becomes a liability. So, it's our job to make positive cash flow. So, Chairman, probably that summarizes my uh, uh, presentation. Okay, so thank you very much, and I hope you learned a lot. Uh, we're now ready for uh, questions. Uh, Chairman? Okay. Okay, okay. Nestor? Yeah, yeah. I, I open to you. Ayan, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, there, there is a question that came in. In the light of the uh, pending removal of the Pogo in the oh. Philippines, I'm sure that the... Uh, property management and the condo sector will suffer. What is your opinion on this? Yes. Uh, sa akin, uh, we should accept it. No? Uh, this is inevitable. And uh, in fact, it's either some people view, view it as a disadvantage, but some people view it as a, a blessing. Okay? Remember, before the polls, we are progressing at, a, at our own natural uh, Pace, diba? I remember 2007, uh, the, the uh, increases in property values were very moderate, no? from 3.5 to 4% per annum, and that is good enough. No? And then suddenly, dumating to mga polos, and they tripled. No? Sometimes, the, the values have quadrupled because of that. No? And the, per, the reason why we have a glut no? or a, a surplus of condominiums and office spaces it's because of uh, speculation. No? They were uh, people were speculating na uh, nako tuloy-tuloy yan aabutin ng 2 million siguro in mga uh, uh, mainland Chinese na nag stay dito sa Pilipinas. And they built projects precisely for that. Okay? And pero the net result was properties became unaffordable for Filipinos, no? especially yung mga uh, first-time home buyers. We cannot afford anymore. No, wow. itong uh, itong mga condominiums and uh, townhouses sa Metro Manila. So, we have to content, they have to content, uh, be content uh, with uh, buying properties as far south as Lucena, as far north as Tarlac. No? <laughs> uh, which, uh, in, uh, sabi ko, it, uh, it defeats the purpose of our mission no? in the real estate industry, which is to provide Filipinos a home of their own. Diba? Dapat sa uh -huh. okay? Although these are investors and we should attract them into our country, nagkaroon ng ano, abnormal demand. Na hindi lang naman nangyari sa Pilipinas. The same, the same thing happened in Australia, in Canada, in New Zealand, okay? and anywhere else. No? Every time, everywhere that the mainland Chinese goes, prices ano, triples no? or quadruples, making it unaffordable to them. Uh, the different nationalities or the different nations no, that uh, hosted them. So, I think we should accept that. No? That surplus, bayanan nyo, uh, the property managers no, will be thinking of ways no, to repurpose that no, and to adapt to the situation. Okay? So, so gradual yan. How long? Yung susunod na question dyan, Chairman, eh. Gano katagal kaya? Well, we don't know. No? During the Spanish flu pandemic and the Great Depression, it took them more than 10 years. The last recession in the U.S., in the global recession in 2008, it took them 10 years. Okay. Now, uh, after the Spanish flu pandemic, because of the spatial considerations, you know, distancing considerations, the, the, uh, bago nasundan yung, ano, yung uh, uh, Empire State Building, which was finished in 1939, the next highest building was built in 1975, World Trade Center. So, uh -huh. oh, uh, 35 years, no? Uh -huh. So, we never know, no? But uh, 
I think the market will find its own level. Uh, it will stabilize. Uh, how soon? We don't know. Yun ang, yun ang uncertainty rito, Chairman. But we are here. Property managers are here to uh, take care of the property. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang daming, ang daming preservation orders ngayon, ang daming conservatorship, ang daming receivership orders. We are ready to take on that role. And sa RAITs din, no? uh, nakalagay doon sa batas na yun, uh, they, they, uh-huh. they employ an independent property manager to manage the portfolio. Hindi pwede yung developer as appointed na property manager. Yeah, very good. Alam mo, maraming natatakot niya sa Pogo eh. Pag nawala ang Pogo, eh sabi niya, wala nang uupa ng mga condo namin, especially in, in plus villages, wala na, malulugi na sila. Paano na kung installment yung kanilang mga bahay o kanilang mga condo, wala silang bambayad. <laughs> diba? yan lang, yan lang. Because you know, eh, uh, if they bought the property at the peak, no, 2019 and early 2020, eh, wala ka tayo magagawa. Ang maganda lang doon, they, they bought it at, uh, no, when the interest were low, no, 5.75. So madali yung ipasa. Eh. Mas, mas magandang ipasa yan uh, as uh, pasalo, yung tinatawag lang pasalo. No? Kesa ngayon, nabibili ka at 10% interest, eh, napakamahal na abutin yung mga properties. So, Yon, no? that's a one way of looking at. It. Let it, let it seek its level. Right now, I receive information no, na even the developers have recognized that na hindi nila pwede, they cannot stick with their current prices. Or if ever they do stick to their current prices, they give substantial discounts. No, nagulat nga ako. Magkano ang discount binigay sa iyo? Sir, 1.2 million. Hindi binigay yung presyo, pero discount na ako ng 1.2 million. Okay? Mm. So probably that is a re- those are reopened units, no? Or yung mga na-reprocess nila. Uh, that's a good sign. So ibig sabihin, uh, developers recognize already, no? That uh, hindi, ano, pag hindi, ano, uh, hindi maganda ang presyo, walang bibili. Okay. Uh, so they have to uh, seek that level. Saan ba? Ano ang level na maraming bibili kung ganito ang presyo? Okay, so... This is the first time na ma-encounter ng developer siya, no? Because we, this is the uh-huh. first time that we have uh, uh, no, no, been hit by a pandemic. So, it's a, ano, it's a learning curve. No? So, ibang countries, they've already experienced that. No? Pero tayo, uh, napakabata pa ng industry natin, real estate. No? Uh, mm-hmm. Diba? Uh, do you agree? Uh, ano, bata pa nga yung ating, ano, eh, yung ating real estate law. It's still... Uh, it should evolve, no? and there should be amendments to be introduced to that. Okay, so talagang ano, uh, part of the learning curve yan. Sabi niya, sabi dito, Nestor, I agree that the real estate uh, property management is a very important component in any uh, real estate development, especially in the condominium concept. However, we are confused because uh, some 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 condo corporation are taking the kajel and they are charging so much what is your take on this well um uh, it part din ng due diligence no uh ng brokers no? whenever they are uh, 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 uh proposing uh uh, a property, a property uh, to an investor is uh, they should know no? who manages, who will be managing these uh, properties. Is it an independent property management? Is it an imp- independent uh, 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 property consulting firm? Is it an in-house uh, property management firm? Okay. Or is it to be managed by the owners themselves through the condo corp or the HOA? So this matters, no? Because uh, if the property management doesn't have the proper knowledge or competency, they cannot address the problems or the issues that will crop up uh, throughout the lifetime of the building. Remember, a lifetime of building is uh, some are projected at 50 years, okay? But for us property managers, our target is to extend it to 99 years or 100 years. No? So in three cycles, okay, when we prepare uh, plans, we do it in cycles of 30 years. So, ganun eh. Uh, depende sa competency. Now, if it is managed by a well-known 
uh, property uh, management firm with track record, they will be able to explain, no? Okay. Bundle the cost. Yung oh. the cost. They can they can unbundle that. No? A problema. And, ano eh, in fact, mayroong kaso sa Cebu, hindi nila ma-explain kung magkano itong isang nadidistribute yung uh, pera na kinokollect nila. No? Uh, mm-hmm. Nagkaroon pa ng dyan, nagkaroon pa ng uh, violence involved. No? Okay? Eh, Napakasimple naman doon eh. We can unbundle the, uh, the, ano, the charges that we uh, charge the monthly no, to the owners. Uh, dalawa lang naman yan. Uh, tatlo, tatlo pala. No? One is for operational cost. One is for reserves, and the other one is for contingency. Okay, tatlong budget lang. So whatever we collect, no, from the uh, um, uh, investors or the owners, or the condominium owners, or dwellers or occupants, it is easy to unbundle. Natin natin explain. The problem if they accept a pusa that is based on pure. Uh, wishful thinking at walang basihan. Ano ba i-explain kayo? So talagang dapat pinag-aaralan. And that's what we are doing sa next and sa Fairman, di ba, Chairman? That's why we are doing this master classes and uh, certification courses. So that uh, people will become competent. No? Existing, ang dami kasi niya, ano eh, natawag natin accidental ano eh, no? practitioners right now. No? They were just put there because during the interview, nandun sila, so they were... Uh, uh, I don't know, they were uh, hired. So the learning curve is, uh, is uh, uh, quite long for these people because there is trial and error. So it is best that they gain these uh, competencies. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ito pa, Nestor, oh, some question. I live in a condominium somewhere in Makati, uh, which has a very poor property management aspects. It is, uh, we pay the condo administrator a big sum when in fact, even the garbage collector are, new, are not being taken away on time. What do you suggest? Can we get a private uh, property management group to do the administration, which will perhaps, it will not be allowed by the condo corporation? Eh, masama pala servicio ng condo corp. Yeah, uh, because probably the condo corp want to manage it themselves. No? Nagtitipid sila, sila sila na lang ang manage And then, you know, uh, they, but they cannot deliver the same level of uh, quality service that a competent property manager can do. So that, 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 that's where the problem is. Uh, and, uh, ano, uh, so, sa kanilang desire na makatipid, they are actually uh, discouraging tenants or the, uh, occupiers. To, ano, no, to remain in that building because you know uh, poor service so they cannot retain the tenants they cannot retain the occupants but probably meron pa ang kaso dyan, even in uh, Sabarin Mandalu yung, uh, uh, the, yung deterioration ng property has been very rapid na ibinibenta na lang nila yung units nila no? because the uh, walang uh, desire dun sa part ng uh, condo court to hire or to ano to introduce new equity to improve the uh, project or to improve, improve the property. We are we are a group of home or, or condo owners in one of the floors in our condo building. Can we hire our own property management group in our floor uh, bypassing the condo corp? Yeah, we, because of that. poor service, poor service. Ah, uh, full service. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, you, you can hire a uh, uh, property man, independent property managers on a per unit basis. Uh, uh, supposing uh, that the condo court does not allow entry. <laughs> well, <laughs> then, then the unit owners. That's must, the problem. Uh, oh, they they must uh, no, they must uh, call for a meeting or file a complaint or. Uh, uh, they should call a meeting and uh, 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 come up with a resolution that the building needs a, an independent property manager. And then they should uh, 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 vote out whoever is the managing body right now. No? Uh, if they have the numbers, they can do that. One floor at ato, one floor, some one floor. One floor. Ilan yon, siguro, ilan may ari nun, mga sampu, no? one floor. 
uh, 10 to 15 siguro or 20. Oh, ganun, no? 10 to 15. Pwede ba silang sumolo? Baka hindi papasukin ng condo court. Uh, hindi naman pwede yun eh. Kasi unit owner sila. They have the right to uh, to uh, choose, no? The, the service concessionaires. Okay, so probably merong merong uh, PMO, itatawag na property management office, no? Yung condominium. Okay? But they only take care of the uh, common areas. So, yun lang ang kaya nilang ano. But when it comes to individual units, pati yung upkeep niyan, uh, uh, let's say housekeeping, repairs, no? it can be done by independent property managers. Labas doon ang, ano, ang PMO. Because they're, uh, okay. remember, PMO is only for uh, common areas of the building. Okay. okay. Nestor, sabi niya, what is the future of property uh, money, property management uh, sector if uh, in the light of the recent uh, pronouncement of the Philippine Statistics uh, Office that uh, uh, real estate service, especially construction, is on is on the downside now. Yes, construction, yes. But uh, yung, ano na, yung, uh, remember, property management is... Uh, Ano eh, preservation and maintenance tayo. Uh, yun nga eh, uh, ang daming mariremata, ang daming uh, matitenga, maraming uh, vacant. No? So, that's why we are hired. That is why we are in, ano, our services are engaged precisely to preserve, maintain, and enhance these buildings. Now, even if walang, ano, walang economic activity ngayon, walang purchases or walang ababa ang uh, occupancy rate, there will come a time that uh, we will recover. And by that time, you know, and, and that during that period of recovery, those properties must always be you know, uh, sales ready or rent ready. You know, trabaho namin. To keep it, uh, trabaho natin pala, Chairman. Uh, uh -huh. To keep it in tip-top shape. No? Para kung may buyer man o merong magre-rent na dyan, makaredy siya anytime. Okay. So, Sarito, I failed to attend your Cebu web seminar face to face on property management. Do you still have something uh, slated for Cebu? So Cebu, we have uh, 20, uh, 26, 27, 28. So that will be the entry level uh, leasing, lease October, management. October. Pwede mo i-promote yun, uh, Nestor. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, ilalagay ko sa uh, uh, ilalagay ko sa website tsaka sa ano sa oh, pwede natin i-promote dito yon sa ating programa yeah, no and, and, and uh, next week next week chairman meron tayong facilities management no? uh, level 3 yon yeah, that will be uh, i think magiging online lang to no kasi dito sa Metro Manila gagawin uh, do you have a national convention like para, what Pared is doing Remember, we had, we had, a, yeah, we did. We had the convention last October. Uh, maybe it's too late uh, to do to have it now. Probably we can have it early 2023. Sure, I think second uh, convention. Uh, I think we will have no before the end uh, of the year. Para uh, we can bring together all the all yeah. the property administrators so that we can assess the problem and probably offer probable solutions. Yes, oh, yes, on, yes. on the matter. Ito magandang question, uh, uh, hmm. President Testor. Ang sabi dito, obviously, I read the RESA Law, Republic Act 9646, and I did not find that the uh, uh, real property managers are included in the supervision of the PRC. How come? Yeah, oh, if you remember, Chairman, Pinag-uusapan natin yan bago pa bumaba, eh, di ba? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we were overtaken by the events. Uh, actually, yung apat na levels ng training natin was patterned, uh, was, was, in, was in preparation no, for uh, the eventual uh, uh, accommodation na rin no, of the PR, PRB res or uh, PRC sa property managers. No? But, Are uh, you in favor? Of including ah, yun, yun eh. property oh. managers to RESA? Ang ano nito kasi is uh, uh, with my consultations with our peers no, abroad no, from uh, from IRM to uh, uh, RAB sa, ano, sa Australia 
and of course the others na yung RPA uh, ang sabi nila well, well, there's no need for you to be supervised by the government okay you can uh, you can self uh, uh, self regulate okay like what we are doing so IRM is self regulating it's not part of a government agency same thing with IPMA same thing with ano kaya sabi nila Probably it's a blessing na hindi kayo nagpa-under uh, sa PRC kasi nga uh, it might stunt your growth. No? Unlike now na ayan, uh, ano eh, uh, very rapid ang ano natin eh, ang, ang takbo natin eh. No? Na we, we are not uh, bound no? uh, by any uh, uh, standard or uh, except those that are imposed on us by ourselves no? through our uh, for the professional ethics and practice as patterned uh, in the, uh, no, to the International Code of Ethics by IRM, by IPMA, and by the other organizations. So, talaga ko tama lang siguro. Providential yun, na hindi hindi tayo napasakop sa... Aha. Okay. Remember, yung, di ba, yung, ours is patterned, yung ating RESA was patterned after the Malaysian model, no? Right now, tatlo lang ang parallel levels. No? Real estate negotiator, the equivalent of agents, no? our uh, salespersons. Real estate agents, which is the equivalent of our licensed brokers. And the third no? level is estate managers. No? So, yung mga property managers. So, yun ang naging natural progression sa Singapore and sa Malaysia. No? So, probably we... Uh, uh, we can also uh, look at that model if you have to say deal for the Philippines. Kaya okay. Tama-tama yung inclusion mo, Chairman, ng, uh, ng property management into the uh, curriculum ng BSREM. No? Because that is talagang, uh, sabi, hindi ba sabi ko nga sa'yo, hindi ba dapat BSREM, yun dapat ang course ng property management? Oh, hey, you're, one, you're, 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 you're teaching one of the subjects that is property oh. management. Important, yes. Importante yan. Yeah. No, to learn in the bachelor's degree in real estate management. That will, make, that will make the law uh, program very unique. No? Ikaw lang ang, ano, ang uh, oh, lang oh, oh, yeah. no? okay. Thanks to you. Kasi I, I have <laughs> taken in naman highly qualified professors uh, to handle the uh, the subjects of their interests, of their expertise. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, is also, ano, yeah. A part of PIRMA, she's also a, a professional property administrator. So, talaga, ano, uh, even ano, ano, some of the faculty... Siguro, are, what we can do is for PIRMA and uh, other organizations like uh, academics, no, like Lyceum, mm -hmm or even my own my own organization and that is the HRE or the Cent Asian Center for Entrepreneurship and Real Estate to really come up together and find and find solutions to the sagging decline of uh, real of manpower I say manpower service natin ngayon sa sa property management sector bumababa but kaya maraming na for fire <laughs> Chairman, oh, oh. yung mga ano, yung mga accidental uh, property managers, pati leasing mm -hmm. managers, napa-fire sila because they're only as ano, if they cannot fill up the vacancies, no? pina-fire sila. And then there are no replacements. Eh, uh, ano no, uh, we cannot even uh, catch up no with the demand na especially sa leasing managers. Now kasi syempre sa sa mata ng developers, ang trabaho mo lang is to uh, uh, be, ano, be sure that the occupancy is high. No? So, pag, pag hindi nila nagawa yun, they are being fired. So, <laughs> nababakante ang ano, no? yung mga... Yung no. mga yeah. yeah. Uh, ang tanong dito, Prop Nestor, do you have a standard tariff on property management costs and expenses? Does PILMA uh, have a standard tariff? Para bang kuha? Tariff eh. Mga presyo uh, siguro. On on uh, on how much would this cost? Garbage, security, mga ganon. Meron ba tayo? Meron ba tayong ganon? Parang standardize? Hindi kasi, Chairman, Wala, no? real, real estate pa rin tayo eh, where everything is negotiable. Okay? But ang kaibahan ng property managers, we, we try to teach our students how to negotiate with concessionaires, with service providers, no? 
uh, with the uh, yan yung mga technical uh, yung mga suppliers no that's why everything is negotiable wala tayong uh, standard uh, what the only standard we are trying to lift no is the income no or the income standards of property managers pero mo napakahirap ng trabaho and then ang offer ang offer uh, offering uh, price nila for uh, an entry level uh, property manager is just uh, 28 to 35,000 samantalang uh, ang ating peers no uh, in uh, yung ating mga equivalent no sa Asia they're earning ano uh, a six digit salary no? okay so minimum 100,000 no tinanong natin si Ed Macalental noon magkano pinakamahal na sweldo ng property manager sa Pilipinas it was only 250,000 for a very big <laughs> oh very huge ano ah, property na to be managed no? eh sa Australia for example ah, ang ang, uh, ang minimum no, na starting salary for a property manager is 5,000 uh-huh. 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 do you <laughs> do we benchmark from our neighboring asian countries oh uh-huh. Uh, mas mura exactly. tayo, na mas mura tayo. Tayo ang pangatlo, Chairman. Dahil ang meron lang is uh, Singapore, Malaysia, and tayo. Uh, even Thailand doesn't have uh, uh, any association of property managers yet. No, hindi ano kaya naglilinis sa Thailand? Kanya-kanya. <laughs> Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. They're, wala. They're all, oh, oh, wala sila. So, uh, unang-una kasi because they are commun- ano, Vietnam and Cambodia are communist countries, including Myanmar, no? So ang hirap sa communist countries kasi di, walang ano eh, wala kang property rights. Dapat wala kang pala pasukin natin yun. Thailand, Vietnam, yeah. Cambodia. Yeah. <laughs> Thailand nakakaintindi. Yes. Yung Vietnam, uh, they are in need of property managers during harvest seasons. No? Kasi ang mga Vietnamese, they are very uh, nationalistic. No? Nakatikim kasi sila ng gutom. That's why they are very conscious of their food security. So during harvest times, yung mga yung mga nagtatrabaho sa city, they go back to the farms to harvest. Okay? Para lang masiguro na yung kanilang food stock. No? So during those times, siguro mga three months yan in a year, kailangan nila ng, ano, ng uh, temporary help. No? Yung mga hotels, walang ano, uh, kailangan nila ng mga property managers o mga managers sa hotel uh, to fill up the vacancy during the harvest season. So, yun ang mga tinitin. Now, na, do you believe that with the opening of the tourism industry, now, Boracay is open, uh, Puerto in Palawan is open. You think that property management would really play, uh, would perk up and play a role, an important role in the upkeep of tourists? Yes, attorney. Ay, attorney to lay. Usap ko kasi yung attorney na... Dari, dari, ano, when I was in Cebu, I came across a, a foreigner who was very disappointed with our... Uh, accommodations there down in Cebu. Especially, he is only here on vacation for two weeks, no? And he spent the four weeks uh, hopping, no? Uh, along the hotels, no? Kasi, ang gaganda rin sa picture, no? Doon sa mga booking sites, ang gaganda sa picture, but nung nakatira na siya, nung uh, nag-check-in na siya, yung mga refrigerator, puno ng ipis, yung, yung, yung mga rugs and dudumi, no? Yung mga carpets and dudumi, uh, yung mga yung mga bed sheets hindi raw pinapalitan inaano na lang ina yung kumbaga inaayos lang no tas ko coveran pero yung loob yung pa rin so those those practices are ano uh, very ano ano no? uh, undesirable na if we want to promote r- tourism so probably we should also hire property managers other than the uh, the uh, uh, hotel managers themselves hotel managers they're good at ano uh, at uh, housekeeping and uh, custodian ito magandang tanong Nestor oh. in your opinion how much pala ikaw broker to gusto mag property manager how much would a property manager pay as a salary <laughs> yun yung sabi ko eh Right now, it is the industry that, that dictates the salary uh, level. No? But once we are already uh, uh, well organized and uh, we have uh, acquired a number, uh, no, no, a majority of the members or the practitioners, we can dictate no, the, you know, the income, no? the income level or the salaries. Because it's not just salary, ang, ano, eh, ang, ang ating income uh, stream sa property management. 
In fact, I encourage you to become independent uh, property managers. Uh -huh. Independent. Sure professional fees or management fees based on the number of units that you handle. Hindi, hindi as, as sweldo, hindi sa oras na nilalagay mo dyan, kundi by the, ano, by the number of units that you are managing. Okay. Ang tanong dito, Nestor, kwa na, sa atin, ano, uh, Pirma, does Pirma have membership nationwide, including Baguio and in the north? Sabi nga. Yes, we have uh, property managers in Baguio, si Pantexon, Pan si... Uh, oh, and how, what is your intention uh, to promote property management in the country? What are your plans? Yeah, unti-unti lang, no? Kasi we, uh, we cannot uh, do it uh, uh, very quick kasi ilan lang din yung mga, ano, no? yung nakakapagturo. But uh, we have or, ano, we have started organizing this uh, Visayas uh, uh chapters no so yung Cebu yung Iloilo si Jo Marie Moriente uh, taga Iloilo yan as well as si Paul Ke no? so uh, these are the uh, people that we uh, no, no, that we can tap no? to lead no? the uh, eastern and central Visayas uh, chapters ng Ferma and then na meet ko pala si Chris Malasarte no when i was in oh, uh, Oh, oh, nga. Oh, nga. Tama, tama, tama. And I'm sure that uh, ang property management industry is on the on the on the uprise. Kasi kailangan naman natin 'yan eh. No? Yeah. And even though even though construction decline and uh, re property property uh, buildings are on a standstill, kailangan mo ring i-manage, 'di ba? Yeah. Kailangan mo ring i-plinis din. Eh. Kailangan mo ring Ikwan, especially those if they are living in the condos already, no? Kaya it is now a continuing, a continuing business, so to speak. Tabi niya. Actually, ito ma, it can be the hedge of brokers. No, no, it can be if brokers wants to hedge against ito ma, yung mga low sales, low low absorption, no, sa mga projects kaya. They should shift to leasing and expand their uh, leasing portfolio. That's what the direction of property managers are right now. No? Expand your, uh, uh, kahit na maraming vacancies, expand mo lang yung ano, listing mo. Okay? Pagdating ng panahon, then you have that uh, uh, huge list, huge number of units you can dispose of or you can uh, have it rented for. And remember, we also have partnered with Agoda. No? So Agoda is uh, Agoda Homes, ah, hindi ito yung agoda.com na booking site. Agoda Homes, yung mga, yung mga uh, single family homes na bakante, or even the townhomes or even the condominiums no, that you have right now, can be, ano, can be leased out. So samantalahin natin yung ating partnership. No? Mm -hmm. uh, And you know, that lahat yung pamilya gusto lumabas. No? So they're, uh, they prefer this rather, uh, no, to uh, rent uh, yung mga bahay talaga or condo rather than stay in a hotel which is very expensive. Okay. So would you know the experience of property managers in the United States? It is very pro uh, prominent in the U.S. No? Prevalent yan. And I think isang aksesorya lang kung mga 10 build uh, 10 units there they have they hire their own property managers. Yeah. Do they I think they pay well in the US, no? Dito yeah, kaya yeah. sa atin, not that much. Mm. Yes. Kasi if you're the property manager, you're also the I don't know, uh, you're also in charge of leasing and uh, negotiating for the leases. So hindi lang isa income stream mo. Kumikita ka na ng management fee, kumikita ka pa ng leasing commissions as well as your no, miscellaneous services pa. So, wala kayang kita nila, uh, Chairman. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought, uh, ang tanong dito, Nestor, what is, the, in your opinion, what is the best qualification of a good property manager? Okay. Uh, Unang-una, you should be people-oriented. Uh, hindi ka pwedeng masungit, hindi ka pwedeng yung introvert ka. You have to be a people person. You have to be able to communicate well. You have to be able to empathize with the needs and uh, wants of your tenants or your occupants. And of course, you should train yourselves in technology, uh, modern technology, so to keep up with the times. Kasi, ang dami natin trabaho eh. We need to make a uh, at least 22 reports to the owners every month. <laughs> we cannot do it manually. We have to be... Oh, ma, tama, tama. Okay? 
And then you know, uh, you know. we should also have a network of uh, suppliers, concessionaires, uh, service providers, because we cannot do it all alone. Even even with a team, our own uh, management team, there are some tasks that needs to be done by uh, licensed uh, engineers, plumbers, technicians, and technicians. Tama, because I know for a fact, because I have a friend from LA, and uh, he is the property manager. Alam mo, laki ng kita niya, ha? And he has an office, minamanage niya, mga labing limang pa lang ata, mga units. Pero malaki ang kita niya, from plumbing to electrical to cleaning, even messengerial, ginagawa nila. Yes. Ano bang extent and limit ng property management? Lahat yan kasama yan, no? Anything that you do? Actually, we can earn from, from even uh, ano eh, uh, uh, rental of ATMs. No? Maglagay ka ng ATM sa lobby mo. Maglagay ka ng, ng uh, uh, soft drink machine dyan, coffee machine dyan. That's another uh, income stream for the owners. No? So, limitless yan. Depende sa takbo ng utak ng property manager, how creative or how, uh, how uh, indented he or she is. So talagang yun ang hinahon natin sa malayang mga skills na yun. Okay. Well, well said, Padre. At uh, we are running out of time. <laughs> ang ganda-ganda ng topic mo. And uh, you have enlightened us a lot, a lot on, the, on the importance and the relevance of property management in the real estate industry. And we would like, on behalf of uh, Doc EG Live, would like to thank you for being with us this afternoon. All I request now is a short party message and try to explain to us why we need property managers. Okay, so good, Chairman. Uh, very timely. Uh, alam ko, I, I commiserate with the brokers because I'm also a broker. And alam ko, uh, our sales have become too few and far between during the last few years. Now, but traditionally, leasing and property management is our way of compensating for whatever loss we experience with low sales. No? So we are opening up this industry, this profession to you, uh, fellow brokers and salespersons, and even to the other industries, no? in the hotel and restaurant and the tourism industry. Uh, we are opening this uh, ano man, no? uh, association as well as, as the courses that we are offering para ma, ano, to shorten the learning curve. No? You don't need to experience a trial and error. You don't need to learn by trial and error because all errors can be very costly. So, yeah, from BSREM, we are now introducing uh, real estate, uh, real property management. And also through our short courses and master classes, we're also doing our best so that we can uh, professionalize no? the industry. No? The same way that uh, real estate brokerage is being professionalized by RESA. So, and I know uh, firma is in good hands because you're the chairman, <laughs> the AG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so yeah. Ras, wow. thank you. Thank you, Professor Nestor. Yes, and so, I am really so glad that you are in the team of uh, <laughs> HRE in the LOA, LOA partnership on BS Real Estate Management. At, uh, I, I think we will hear a lot from you, no? And... Uh, in your in your lectures sa, sa semester na to on property management and you know without you knowing i sometimes i enter and listen to you uh, because natututo ko marami akong natututuan <laughs> but you know in in appreciation of your being with us uh, this afternoon uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us can we got just give you a short token a short certificate which we are going to email to you a certificate of appreciation which says that uh, for Nestor Correa, the president of uh, PIRMA, uh, for being with us uh, today, this afternoon, and talk about the relevance of property management in the real estate industry. At, uh, we will email to you, maraming maraming salamat, Professor Nestor, and may your tribe increase. Dapat talaga yung mga well-meaning people like you should be at the helm of any uh, real estate advocacy. And I'm glad that we are together in our advocacy to make real estate not only a very lucrative career, but likewise a, a ethical 
and a nice place, a nice sector, a nice profession to go into. And uh, maraming salamat, Professor Nestor. And uh, thank you for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so marami salamat. We learned a lot about property management. And uh, thanks to Professor Nestor Correa for sharing his thoughts on property management, the relevance, the importance of property management in, re in the real estate industry. So before I forget, allow me to greet Nika Biliocilio Overio and also Rodaline Rachel Tam. No, with us, and Maricel Barcelo, also with us, and Gina Gika Batulan. Sujanti ko hata to. RRC2 Neil Hulbe, also one of my students, and Emmanuel Stagliente, and Cebu Best Homes. I hope to hear from you soon, Cebu, Cebu Best, uh, Best Homes, and also would like to, uh, to say hello to a very good friend, Anthony Gerald Luterio. Yeah, Tonton Luterio. Uh, well, a very well-known personality, not only in Cebu. And I think he he manages uh, the biggest real estate uh, marketing group in the Philippines today. At uh, I've seen him work and he's really uh, good and uh, well-meaning. Well, uh, Taking well in with 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 in mind the 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 management and the proliferation of ethical ethical professionals involved in real estate. All right, so I want to say hello also to Professor. Uh, well, we have a lot of uh, pro uh, well. We would like to Professor Ann, no. Anne Villarreal of Lyceum and also by my program chair and also uh, I also would like to say hello to uh, to Kimoy, no? Jade Kimoy, Jade Angeles Kimoy and the program coordinator of Lyceum Palabang and also to the president himself, si, uh, Dr. Danilo Viterbo Ayap, the, the host and the uh, the person at the back, at the helm of uh, Lyceum of Alabang. Okay? So, marami pong salamat. And uh, for listening to us now, uh, before I say goodbye, let me also congratulate my favorite congressman, congresswoman in the, in, in the 19th Congress, si Congresswoman Marisa Del Mar. Yan. And, uh, and a lot uh, from the, from, from Paranaque, Irene Oprecio, we have Estelita Patdu, and also, well, the uh, Lorenzo Rojas, Lawrence, we are doing some project together, no? And uh, and hopefully we are able, we can able, we will be able to consummate the deal next week. Okay, also to Jigsia, I hope you win as the most outstanding a real thousand beauty queen no? in the in the in the convention of pare convention no and the uh, and the uh, management and the board of directors of Paranaque City College headed by uh, our very good mayor mayor Eric Olivares and also the members of the board of trustees and uh, and all of these people including Mari Chel uh, Carion, and also uh, all of these at the top. But then I see uh, the Kenneth Rapal, who is also a good professor, and now is also, I think, the dean or the college, college, ano ba yan? Uh, BSREM, uh, well, uh, chairman, chairman of the Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Management. So, Ah, time flies so fast. Mabilis po tan. Almost, we only have about nine minutes to go. May, may I now move on to the acknowledgement? Well, if you want security services, the finest security services in town, you have to learn it from the expert. 
expert, Silver Point Training Institute, uh, Dr. Ne uh, Dr. Neil Silva, the, the head and the president. Okay? So also for your uh, needs, physically, well-being, then you need stem cell, ultimate health care, and the revolutionary age-defying health supplement, and that is for chair prevents aging. Diba? Ganda yan. And isa pa. And also, wow, karnyo nga si Kate uh, Dalaga Garcia yan, ano? and a unique masterpiece. Kate uh, talaga namang never, uh, never, never age and taba ever ending, never ever ending beauty at its best. No? That Kate Garcia, that Kate Dalaga Garcia. Okay. So, next. Okay. So, well, uh, time's up. I think we are now always done. It's almost five o'clock. And uh, I should say that I would like to thank everybody for uh, being with us this afternoon. I hope, just like you and me, I enjoyed uh, listening to our resource person, Professor Nestor Correa. And uh, I would like to greet my students from the Colegio de San Juan de Letran, from the University of the East, from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, and most importantly, the Graduate School of the University of Santo Tomas. Yeah. Also, pala, makalimutan ko yung ating PSBA Society no, is also here working and listening to us. Marami pong salamat and on behalf of our team. Teka mo na, meron pa pala. Egonomics, sinabi mo, tapos na eh. O egonomics pala tayo. Huh? Tulong tayo. <laughs> Quote of the week in egonomics. A great property manager is key to success in real estate. That is according to Robert Kiyotsi. Ayan po. At mo, tignan ang mga kalimutan. Kung po yan nung aking team, nung aking IT, medyo hindi ata na ipasok. Pasensya na po kayo. But anyway, just like that, on behalf of my team, hindi ko na habanggitin yung team ko. Nagpalpak pa, tapos na nga ata. Okay. Okay, okay. On behalf of our team, uh, Rosa A. De Jesus, who is on her eighth month of pregnancy. <laughs> and, and also Eliza, and also May, and, uh, and the rest of the team who are here in the studio. This is Doc EG Live, and I hope to see you again next Friday for another exciting episode. 121st episode, no, 22, 122nd episode of Doc EG Live. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, and keep on moving. Life is a beautiful, life is beautiful, and we should enjoy life to the fullest. Okay, bye, and see you next Friday. Bye.